Hi everyone, welcome to Bookings in Office 365. We're gonna take a look at how you can use Bookings in order to set up a calendar and send out a public viewable booking page that parents can use in order to book, say, one-on-ones or appointments to meet with you in Microsoft Teams. So let's get started. First of all, you're gonna find bookings by going to your app launcher in Office 365. So if you're starting from myecsd.net, you can simply click on the app launcher in the top left corner. Now, if you do not see bookings in your apps, simply click all apps and you will find bookings in the list of all apps. You can pin it to your app launcher by simply clicking on the three dots or the Timbit stack next to bookings and you will see the ability to pin the app to your app launcher. Let's go ahead and click on bookings and I'll walk you through the steps to getting started. Now, if you are just accessing bookings for the first time, you will see a different welcome screen to setting up bookings. You're going to want to look for the button to click that says get started. You're also going to be syncing your Outlook calendar with bookings. So again, the calendar that you want to sync will be your ecsd.net calendar. So you'll sync that with your teacher email address and password. Once you have done that, you should be brought inside the bookings app. Now let's walk through the steps to setting up your booking page and identifying your staff. So here I am on the home screen for the bookings app. Now I could take a look at the features and the options along this top menu. These are going to include the ability to add your staff and even set up your first booking page. Now I've already done this, so I don't have access to that, but I will show you how you can use the left navigation to do the same thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna start with staff. I want to make sure that I'm featured in here and my role will be set as administrator, but I wanna make sure that I am set to bookable. Now, if I hover over myself, notice that to the far right, I have the pencil icon for edit. Here's where I can edit my availability and I can change up a few features. For instance, my details. I'm going to reverse this so that it's actually by first name, then my last name. I can change the color of my symbol. I can add a phone number if I need to. Notice that I want to make sure that this button is checked, that events on my office calendar affect my availability. In other words, I want bookings to look at my Outlook calendar and actually cancel any appointment slots where I already have a calendar booking. I could select to use business hours. Notice that the default business hours are set from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Or I can uncheck this and I can set my own office hours for Monday to Friday. Once you have updated any changes to staffing, make sure you click save. All right, next, we're gonna go to services. I want to add a service. This time, I'm going to be offering one-to-one -one meetings or one-on-one -on -one meetings with parents. So let's call the service one-on-one -on -one meetings. Notice that I could add a brief description and if I was meeting in person, I could add the default location. So if we were meeting at the school, I could actually add the address to the school. This is going to be a Teams meeting, so I'm going to toggle this switch here. 
add online meeting. Notice that I want to set the default duration. I'm going to set hours to zero and I'm going to change meet, meeting minutes to 30. By default, the duration of your meeting is set to one hour, but in this case, I want my one-on-ones to be set to 30 minutes. Notice that I can turn on a buffer time that customers can't book, and I can set the before or after hours. I'm gonna leave that turned off, and I can set the maximum number of attendees per event. For this particular event, because it's one-on-one -on -one meetings, I'm going to set the maximum attendees to one. Don't worry about price or notes or even custom fields. But notice that you can add an email reminder. You can add additional information for the email confirmation that people who are booking will receive. And once you have updated the service details, we're gonna go ahead and click save at the top. Last but not least, I need to set up my booking page. So again, in the left navigation menu, I'm going to click on booking page. Notice that this booking page status is currently not published. We're gonna make a few changes to some default settings here, and then we're going to save and publish this booking page. I'm going to leave this particular checkbox unchecked for requiring an Office 365 or Microsoft 365 account to book because I'm sharing this booking page with parents. They might be using Gmail or um, other uh, email clients in order to book with me. Notice that under scheduling policy, I can set time increments. So because the appointment slots are 30 minutes, I will have the time increments set to 30 minutes. I can set email notifications and I can set my availability. I can also set a color theme for my page. And I want to double check the region and time zone settings. So I'm gonna click this link here, change language and time zone settings. I want to make sure that it's set to English Canada and that my current time zone is set to mountain time. Otherwise, my participants are going to be booking time slots potentially in the wrong time zone. All right, once I've updated any default settings, I can go ahead and click save and publish. I want to copy this share your page link here by clicking the copy button and I'm going to open my email and send this link to my parents. So here you can see I've started an email to a parent with a Gmail account and I've gone ahead and just simply pasted that link in and I will click send. Keep in mind that you could always share this booking page link through Microsoft Teams, through your Google Classroom, even by embedding it on your Google site. All right, let's take a look at what the parents will see. So I've opened up my Gmail account where I sent that booking link to, and I'm simply going to click on that link in the email, and that is going to load that booking page that I published. Notice that my parents will see that they can choose the consultation service, which will give them 30 minutes. I started availability June 1st. They do have to select this drop down for me under select staff. And notice that on Monday, they can start booking me from 8 a.m. But notice that the time slots show 8, 8.30, and then 10, 10.30, and then not again till three. Again, this booking page is synced with my Teacher Outlook calendar, and so any times that I'm unavailable in that Outlook calendar, bookings is not offering as a bookable time slot. So let's go ahead and select a date. Let's take a look at the eighth. I have a lot more availability. 
let's go ahead and select a 9.30 a.m. slot. Notice that I do have to fill in my name and my email for the confirmation. And I don't have to provide my phone number or address. Those are optional. I can put in a few notes to the teacher if I have any special requests and I'll simply select book. Notice that you will get a confirmation message through email shortly after booking a time slot. And when I click OK, I can see a summary of my booking. Notice that I also have the ability to reschedule, cancel, or even make a new booking. I just wanted to show you my email for a minute. I wanted you to notice that as an educator, as a teacher in my school Outlook, I receive a new booking from Christine McKee, and I have a link to join a Teams meeting. If I flip back to my parent view with my Gmail email, notice that as a parent, I get a confirmed consultation with Mrs. McKee. And again, I have a join Teams meeting link. The best part about this is that on June 8th at 9.30 a.m., I'll be able to open this email in my Gmail account and click that Join Teams meeting link and that will launch Teams in the Chrome browser window and I'll be able to have that one-on-one -on -one meeting with the teacher. And it's as simple as those five steps to getting started with Microsoft Bookings for connecting with your parent and student communities.